Alrighty, so up next we have number five in Nebraska, White Fang versus South Dakota's new number one, Hate. Having a really good. Ooh, <laughs> careful, man. <laughs> Does your health insurance cover that kind of fall? I hope so. I'm back, bro. I'm back. <laughs> How you been there, Alex? It's been a while. Man, dude, I've been all right. Trying to figure out hitboxes in this game. That, well, that snake forwarder sent me straight up. <laughs> I was, I was, I was done after that. A hitbox? Yeah, as, yeah. His is modded, so you can like see the hitboxes and moves. Actually, oh. it's kind of crazy. All right, so we got game one. All right, well, it's going quite, quite fast. Uh, where we have White Fang versus uh, Hate. So definitely an old rivalry that used to exist while uh, White Fang was here in South Dakota. And so far, he's off to a really strong start with uh, about 55%, but the issue is once Hate gets in, he will get a lot of damage on this big body character. Okay, so uh, how does this matchup normally go with these two? Um, well, this one I didn't get to see too much at the start of Ultimate. I was doing a lot of busy stuff, but what it seems like is definitely Ridley, one of Ridley's strengths is his incredible two frame yeah, and ledge trapping. Once he gets Hate off stage and on ledge, he's going to have a hard time recovering. Uh, Ridley's got big hitboxes. Yeah. That Nair covers like all options, basically. Oh, and so, but once and Hayes in, you see the difference. Look at that. That's so volatile. That, that was absorb. crazy. Because on the first stock, he only gave him 5%. Exactly. I'm like, bro, this is, this is looking pretty And now we're right even here. game. And then White Fang, you know, he just stood there on the platform and just gave him like 51 damage. Didn't even move. Exactly. So now we see back to the, we're back to the other situation where once. Uh, Ken is on the ledge, Ridley's going to have a fun yeah. time. That's his thing. It's his little shtick. He's got amazing ledge trapping to make up for the fact he's a uh, big body lightweight. Yeah. And like there. I said, look at Nair. It's just crazy good in this situation. You get two frame. And getting that run back grab is such a good fake out that white face tends to go for here. And right now, oh, he's just kind himself. of looking to try to find a way. He's really feeling himself. Got yeah, the jump taken away. Now we're, and now let's see if he gets back in. We'll get that reverse. Look at that shield damage coming through there. Saw their white face was able to come in, only took nine damage on that stock. That was really just a just, yeah, just a stock. And now look what's card. happening here now. It's six, seven percent. Whatever, it's such a volatile matchup. I feel for yeah. it's whoever kind of gets in that advantage state first will end up winning this situation. Ooh, using the focus to get through that nair. There we go. Uh -oh. Keeps air dodging the ground. He's got to watch out. That forward smash killing would have easily killed there. Yeah, you just gotta show it to them sometimes. Somebody doesn't want to hit them with it. Just put some fear in their eyes. Make them make them have a quick little panic moment. Oh, oh good. Yeah, that could have been a smash there too. Absolutely. Went for the jabs. Safe. Oh my sure lord. All right, and hey, now getting off the ledge. Seeing what we can get here. Oh, now he's right back there. Oh, these little hits gonna make it really hard for him to use focus. That is probably gonna be the game. So here's where I'm curious to see if are there gonna be any switches here because. He has a little bit of a pool. He has both Shotos, yeah. Lucas, and both Belmont, even though there's not much of a difference. He will play he's played all these characters before in bracket. So definitely not want to shy away from picking somebody else if a matchup just isn't feeling right. Yeah. So I'm curious if if, if we'll see either Lucas or the Belmont come out. Alright, we're gonna see Ryu come out. Definitely Ryu, definitely he's a little bit more of a camp the campier of the Shotos. His uh secondary fireball, that huge red one. Definitely making it a little bit harder for uh, White Fang to approach in this situation. Also, we got a lot of damage. Look at that, we go. Could yes. make it a lot harder to get in. So on this, on this game number two, uh, we got the Ryu. Ryu, uh, a little more grounded character, be able to do a bit more, uh, a bit more damage on Ridley. Yeah, and able to camp out a little bit more with his uh, uh, with his uh, Hadouken compared to Ken's. And right now, what we get, we're in that situation again that I mentioned about how Ridley's uh, frame trap is just absolutely insane. Okay, so he finally makes it back onto the stage, but he was so afraid he sat chill to just get tossed off once again. Yep. With these, and these there we go. And these forward airs coming from Ridley. And, uh, it's Ridley? Be a stop, Ridley's right? really scary on ledge. He's, when it comes to neutral stuff, he does have a little bit of lackluster. His damage is kind of nice. It yeah. just depends on the move. But that le those ledge situations where he shines, he, there's not many characters who just kind of get to recover for free against Ridley. It's very hard. Uh, I played against White Fang today, and there's so many times I got two frames just trying to recover, just normally yeah. going to ledge. What character? Uh, Greninja. Ooh, man. So, no hitbox coming up, nothing trade with. Oh, there we go. Hate getting that stock right there. So, not two socks, 60% deficit. Oh, and he put himself in the air exactly yep. where he does not want to be. Because White Face has definitely uh, been very dominant when his opponents have been in the air and off stage. 
Absolutely, where they kind of have that advantage because that Nair just covers so much range. It's it's literally just a it's a it's an attached sword, is what that thing is. All right, so I'd be not killing just yet in the single fireball, but hate saving his jumps. Good job there. And look at just this amount of ledge pressure that Boyface is putting on right now. I believe he has his jump. When did his jump get taken there? Crazy. Might have been right before the was the second to last set of fireballs, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Crazy push pressure coming through here. Oh no. That's gonna be a bag for me. That is the doing a lot of damage. And right now White Thing looking very dominant going in here. And he wants that so yeah. bad. He wants that spike beyond no belief. But they made it quite powerful and a lot easier to hit now. When they buffed Ridley there and took what he had that was pretty good and they just made yeah, it absolutely made insane. Better. Back air got stronger, side B got stronger, that move got stronger. It's so crazy how much they gave him. Bear coming out. Ooh, jab block coming through. And that's dead. So if he can get in here, he could possibly take this game, but he's got to get a lot of damage. And I think what he needs to do is he needs to not put himself so close to ledge as often. It's, uh, in those situations where Whiteface is getting his advantage is when uh, hates on ledge. Oh, man, those show us have some magnet hands. All right, right and here now. we go. He's got the stage for this thing he needs. He's in that advantage state. He's got air dodge from White Fang to get onto the platform there. But like I said, once uh, once you're trying to avoid the Shotos, they get to just have their fun. Whenever you're running them, oh, that might yeah. take it. Yeah, it's going to take it, so. That's going to kill. Uh, so so watching both of these games, so really one of those characters really wants you to approach. Yes. Like, he's just like, you know what, come here. <laughs> I got bigger hitboxes, I got stronger hitboxes. I'm not a slow character per yeah. se, but I'm not he's, he's not exactly fast. So I'm I'm wondering if maybe we can see Lucas come out. Possibly uh, Lucas like or Lucas. I feel like we might see the Lucas or the Belmonts come yeah, out. Yeah, I yeah, the Belmonts, the Belmonts really good uh, too. I think we're seeing the Belmonts. If we're, if we're at Lila, it's uh, he's changing to one of those two, I feel. Yeah, I could definitely see him uh, trying to... Okay, he's going uh, back to Ken. Going back to Ken but... So I'm curious, because I feel this is kind of a better stage for really. those low platforms. He sharks so well in this game. Uh, having up smash, up tail, up air, nair. He can literally just shark the platforms with everything. But I guess he's going to try to use those platforms to try to avoid some of these projectiles, some of these other moves, maybe. But right now, uh, White Fang just chilling back. Oh, here we go. I'll get a little bit of damage in. Misread the air dodge or misinputed something there. Ooh, Hadoken coming out. And then we see this, uh, the pressure from the shows how they're able to back dash and uh, just kind of do little dash animations, little steps like in the Street Fighter games where they don't look away, which that is a good amount of like uh, step back fake outs you can do. And right now, hate just kind of struck the damage. Good jump read coming out from White Fang to get that back air. I'm trying to get that spike once again. He's getting a lot of those back airs. Yeah, he really wants the spike. Come on, Pat. I got on heat smash. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, I'm not pretty good. Ooh, I'm locked in. Oh, I believe that had to be missing for first. Uh, Shuri or Tatsu or something. Yeah. So I'm sitting here. I was like, man, would the Shuri really have killed it that early? Ken Shuri is crazy. Oh. God. Crazy. I believe, didn't they change that so that Ridley's in the percent lead? You can't mash out of it or something like that? Um, something crazy. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure if they made any that changes choice. to that, but I feel like it's like normally for like most characters when you're those like grab. Those yeah, all those stages, like then. oh, you're at the the person doing the grabs at the higher percent. They have a slight advantage. Ooh, and right now, hey, getting in there. We're seeing what I was talking about that pressure that the Shotos can put on there. That damage needs to move on to this big body character of Ridley. Yeah, and now combo he's... food. Oh, fool. All you can eat buffet for combos. And now he is not as a he's not as pressure to have to get in and put on damage because he has a lead. Yeah, that makes it very well. He's been playing from behind for so long uh, to where he was forced to approach Ridley, which and is what Ridley is. Was. Ooh, all right. And now hate a really strong lead. So oh no, ooh, good air dodge coming through. He's showing us. Uh, he's not the only one that knows how to ledge trap. Definitely. Really gotta get those ledge reads. All he wanted the spike. And now here's that damage coming through. Tatsu cancel into some down tilts. Oh no. Ooh, he let go of the focus. If he would have held that, he could have gotten a huge punish there. Tatsu coming through again. Ooh, Ooh, and he missed. He to the stage. In this situation, hates kind of having the advantage here. Yeah. While he does, while uh, White Fang does get the counter pick here, mm -hmm. hates got the momentum in his favor now after that. Especially after SD like that, uh, having White Fang going for that so often this set, 
Yep, we're seeing Town City, definitely a favorite of Ridley being able Ridley definitely one of those characters who likes to kill off the side and that forward smash and side B and yeah. all those things, just taking them straight outside. This will be a little bit of an advantage for Ridley, but also Ken King get that crescent kick and that will kill really early here. Here we go and now into game four. Uh, all right, looks like we have, uh, we have double skin chains here from to Golden Ken to, and Meta Ridley. Now right now, White Fang playing a little bit more aggressive than we've seen him. Definitely going in a lot more. Tots are coming through. Ooh, the air dot. Makes it back to the stage safely. Ooh, here we go. Good jabs coming through. Ooh. And right now, he putting a lot of pressure on Shield when he gets in. And White Fang kind of struggling to get any sort of grasp right now. Yeah, he's not able to get him on a ledge like he was in those previous games when they've been playing center stage. It's looking pretty strong here. Yeah, but like I said, that's that momentum factor people don't like. They don't really like talk about too much. Is momentum plays such a factor? Someone's really feeling themselves. Oh, oh gosh. No. Yeah. So, yeah. This is the reason why he likes this stage. Yeah, those platforms coming and get really early kills. Oh no! No. Oh, he's gonna make it back here though. That is. <laughs> that's a dag moment right there. Imagine getting such a crisp play right there. Oh, just like you know to, what? To have uh, two air jumps and then not be save you. And right now, what? Oh, oh no! All right, Ken's gonna make it back to the stage. And another just kill. To get... <laughs> just that to was get in the same rotation of platform. <laughs> just to get oh lord, to man, those <laughs> definitely those uh those platforms are really helping out White Fang here in this matchup. Definitely, if these two meet again in Grand, I believe this might be a stage that. Yeah. <gasps> and that's it. Look at that. <laughs> It's a it's a long hill, so it's a long climb, but Drew Hague has can do it. The momentum back on his side now after a shield break. It's a pretty big hill. He's, he's going up the hill with a sled right now. <laughs> going up the hill with a sled. It's complete yeah. ice. He's got like really worn out boots on. He's he's trying his best though. People... It's not even for him. He's not going down. It's for his little sister. <laughs> little sister. Mom said you gotta give me the sled. <laughs> All right, we got Ridley. Uh... I can count across and, the stage. and we're on that like, ledge trap situation that we've seen many like times before. All bear coming through. Ooh, Four good focus three, and that's gonna be a three-one for White Fang there. So right now we're gonna see, uh, I believe, yep, we're gonna see Crow versus the Hot Dog Knight, uh, Mega Man versus Snake. Match we've seen quite a bit of times here at Iconic Clash between J Brav and Crows. We have Welfare Pickles and Crows, and Sandbag and Welfare Pickles, and so many times we've seen this matchup play.